Hey everyone, this is Unlock24, and today we're going to be talking about the new cards that they added to the card trader. There's three of them that they updated the card trader with, and let's go ahead and take a look at them. Uh, where's that? Here it is. Sorry. So first of all, they added the Ultra Rare Spell Strider, and I see that a lot of people think that this card is really, really bad, but overall I think it's going to be really good, and it does counter a ton of decks. Uh, this thing can basically counter tunes, uh, the Sea Stealth Attack deck, and basically any deck that runs... A, uh, a field spell card and that is basically uh, one of its win conditions is to have that field spell card uh, out. The effect is, if this card is in your hand, you can target two face spell cards on the field, one from each side of the field, banish them, and if you do special summon this card. Uh, it is a special summon, so you are able to summon another monster, so you can do a ton of damage, especially if you put this uh, with something with, like Drill Dark. You can special summon this one, summon Drill Dark, summon another monster, and that uh, already is our 4,000 damage. And I think uh, some people that, that are going to be able to use this at its full potential uh, will be to pull out OTKs out of nowhere. Uh, the card overall, I think it is a, a really badly needed, uh, needed card. Or it was a really badly needed addition to Duel Links. Uh, the next one, Token Thanksgiving. This card is basically useless. Uh, there's really not much that you could do with it other than just gain life points. Uh... Mm, it's a destroy all tokens on the field, increase your life points by the number of tokens destroyed times 800 points. Seeing that we can only have three monsters, this is basically going to be 2400 life points, so uh, it's not really that good. The third one is uh, Dr. Frankenderb. If this card is normal or special summon, you can pay 500 life points uh, to look at the top card of your deck. Then place it at the bottom of your deck, or reveal it and add it to your hand. But skip your next draw phase if add it to the hand. You can only use this effect of Dr. Frankender once per turn. I'm not really sure that you're going to be able to do much of anything with this. I mean, maybe just get a free draw uh, if the next card is viable. Um, other than that, doesn't really... I don't think... I don't see it doing much of anything. Um, so overall, the only decent card that was added was Spell Strider. Um, let's see if... I don't, I don't think there is one in the current card trader. Hmm... Yeah, there really isn't anything on here. And uh, overall, the, I didn't really plan to do any type of uh, video or I don't have any any gameplay for you guys. Just that quick little, I guess, review of those three cards that they just added. Um, if you do have any questions, just feel free to send me a message either here um, or on Facebook. You can always reach me um, on Facebook, leave a comment. Most of the time I do read them. So, again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you're enjoying my content, do subscribe and I'll see you next time.